Hi viewers, Asma's here. I'm back with another very exciting acrylic painting idea on your art channel, Virtuoso Palette, Endangered Animals, a topic about which we discuss a lot, but practically we are not taking enough steps to secure the creatures. Animals contribute to nature in such ways that impossible for human beings. There's a long list of endangered animals at the moment, but I have chosen only four. And this is just a humble effort of mine to draw your attention towards the crisis. So let's go to look, watch and observe and also do whatever you can. Viewers, this is my first acrylic painting idea based on endangered animals by Virtuoso palette. I'm starting from pandas, a beautiful, peaceful animal, which is unfortunately one of the endangered animals. As you can see that I have drawn the panda just to adjust its placement on my mini canvas and have started with a wash brush making a base with cyan blue blended with white. Well, to paint the trees, I have prepared a tone using burnt sienna with white and with the help of my palette knife, putting the paint where I want the trees. There's a tiny amount of burnt umber also and using a thin brush, I'm painting the trees. In some of the strokes, I am using burnt umber and a bit of black for the darker tones. Viewers, if we don't take precautionary measures on emergency basis to save the endangered animals, there will be an addition in the extinct animals and you will never see the beautiful creatures again in the world. Each and every animal in the world plays a vital role in its ecosystem and human beings would never survive without animals.
my mini canvas, I have started painting the panda using burnt umber and black. It seems as if I am using black, but it's a tone of these two colors, burnt umber and black I am using. The idea I have is not to work in detail on the panda, as if it is there to disappear. Viewers, it is better not to use pure black and I have mixed blues and browns in black on the panda. Same goes for white. The first layer for white areas is a blend of burnt sienna and white. Later I shall give the highlights in pure white. I've also used a bit of grey, just a splash of black in white. I have prepared this stone. And as usual, blending. For the leaves, I am using spring green with yellow ochre and some tones prepared with chrome yellow and primary blue. For the darker tones, I have mixed a little black in the greens.
pandas are in a situation where they can break like a bubble and disappear if we do not secure them. And this is my idea of painting a panda inside a bubble. I'm about to use something to draw an outline to paint the bubble. But first let's get done with some highlights on the face of the panda. A bit of work in its eye is also required. One of the eyes. Almost done. The eye is done, but you know, I need to add uh, one or two layers on the face and on the head. You can see there's a light tone with a blend of burnt sienna and white. I have used again on the face, on the head. Some more branches around it. There's another layer on the head. look at the panda in real life it seems as if there's black and white in it but if you observe you'll see many shades And 
Now it's time to draw an outline for the bubble, I believe. I'm using something round to draw an outline. And to draw the circle, I have used cyan blue and white. You'll observe it soon as I take it off. Now you can see I have used white and cyan blue just to draw the circle. And according to the background, I'm selecting the tones to give the effect of the bubble. And other than the tones of brown and green from the trees, I might use some other colors like the one I'm using now. It is magenta pink with some white and of course cyan blue blended with white. In fact, all these endangered animals, they seem to exist in a bubble. If the bubble breaks, they are gone. A little black in green in fact I have used here this is how I'm going to give the effect of a bubble More cyan blue with white. Actually, this idea is only to divert the attention of the few people who watch my art channel towards the animals who are truly in need of our help for their survival.
you know what to be honest it's not their survival it is our survival I hope you would like this idea of mine. If you're an animal lover, you would definitely be in love with this panda. See you in the next video on your art channel, Virtuoso Ballet. Well, I believe I could make you think on this grave issue even just for a second. Hope you'll continue watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing your art channel, Virtuoso Ballet. See you.